Mahara family, welcome to Holy Communion where we break bread. So today we're looking at Genesis 22. I'm not going to do the whole of it because as I'm praying and reading this word, the Holy Spirit is just releasing a lot for me. So I'm just, I'm just going to do it up until where I can and then we'll continue with part two. So let's pray. Father, thank you so much for your word. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus, amen. Sometime later, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain that I will show you. Now the question is, which mountain are you on? Because here the Lord says to Abraham, Abraham, go to Moriah. To the mountain that I will show you. There are many mountains and there are many different sacrifices happening on many different mountains. Perhaps God would say to you, go to a certain place or do a certain thing. It's very important that when God has told you something, that you go back to him and say, how Lord, where is it? In the scripture that says, who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? It means there are so many mountains that we can ascend, but who can ascend that one of the Lord? And the Bible here to Abraham, it says, go to the mountain that I will show you. Have God showed you your mountain? Have God showed you the mountain where you need to go? So as we continue in verse 3, it says, Early the next morning, Abraham got up and loaded his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. Not only did God say, I will show you the mountain, God also told him where the mountain is. You have to make sure that the, the sacrifices you are making, you are making them on the right mountain. Verse 5, it says, On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. He said to his servants, stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. This is saying to me, there are certain people you can never take to the mountain. Be primarily because they will not understand the instruction that the Lord has given you. Remember, the Bible says, God tested Abraham and said, Abraham, go and sacrifice your son Isaac in the mountain that I will show you. His servant would not have understood what he was about to do because as we continue on the mountain, we will see that Abraham took out his knife and was almost stabbing his son as a sign of obedience to God. But if the people you are taking with you to the mountain that the Lord has showed you, see that you are about to kill your own son, out of saying it is the command of the Lord, they will come back saying you do evil rituals. They will come back saying you do not serve the living God. That is why you have to leave certain people when you ascend the mountain of the Lord. This is to say, there are people you leave behind. The previous video that we did, we said you sometimes have to sacrifice the very things you love. Leaving behind your friends, leaving behind your family for the vision that the Lord has given you to ascend that mountain. Family, this is such um, a power-packed um, scripture for me, which is Genesis 22. I hope you were blessed by it to understand that you need to know on which mountain you are on. And secondly, there are people you leave when you ascend that mountain. Family, God bless you.